Good morning from Castaway Key. Today is going to be a very fun day on the island. Mm -hmm. What are we going to do today? We're going to take a ton of pictures. We already favorited some of our characters that we want to meet on the island. Jackson wants to meet literally everybody. Right. So we'll see how many characters we can actually meet. I also wanted to take a couple of just like bump pictures, baby okay. bump pictures while we're out on the island and um, go snorkeling. Swim in the ocean. I haven't had a chance to really swim on this trip yet, so I really, really want to swim in the ocean with Jackson. And I want to eat some delicious barbecue. You've been wearing your cookies barbecue well, shirt. Cookies barbecue shirt. <laughs> so we're ready. We're ready for the day. We're going to go grab some breakfast first, and then we're going to head down. Yeah, let's go do it. First stop, Marceline Market for breakfast. I'm really enjoying breakfast at Marceline Market. It's been good. Favorite place to sit for breakfast is all on the back of Marceline Market overlooking Castaway Key. Jackson's eating his stuff. We're supposed to be able to go ashore at 8.30, but I don't see anybody. Oh yeah, it looks like they just started letting people go in there. Yeah, first guests ashore right now. Looks like they got some runners going up there too. So everything at Marceline Market was mostly the same this morning that it has been in days past, except for this. They're calling this a Mexican Hot Pocket. Chorizo, black beans, cheese, I don't know. We'll see what it is. But this was in the place of the ham and cheese croissant. I like the ambition of Jackson. He wants to play basketball so bad on a full-size basketball hoop. It's a, big it's a big buddy one. Let's see. See if you can make it in there, buddy. Nope. <laughs> All done with breakfast. Now we're down on deck one, heading to get off the ship. Going on to Castaway Key. Right, bud? It's so funny because when we were sitting next to that, was it a Royal Caribbean that we were next to yesterday? Yeah. We were looking at it and saying like, man, there's so many rooms on it. But like, looking at the Wish, there's a lot of rooms on it too. Like it's pretty packed with rooms. The, the bottom of the ship is the color, and the bottom of their ship is white. Yeah. You can see all the rooms a lot more clearly on their boat. Right. Hello, Chip and Dale. Go say hi to Chip and Dale, buddy. <laughs> He's wearing his glasses. Well, sunglasses. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? They match their swimsuits, buddy, because they're yellow, and you're wearing the yellow sunglasses. Oh yeah. You want to give the chipmunks a big hug? Who's your, which one do you like more, buddy, Chip or Dale? Uh, you can't pick! You can't uh -oh. pick! Uh-oh. Who, buddy? Dale. Dale? Uh, oh. It's okay, Chip. But you like oh, Chip no. as well, still right? like, go yes, give, go give yes. Chip a hug. Go we give Chip a hug. We love them both. Go give Chip a hug Aww. as a, so we still love you. Yes. They love you right back. You want to go in the middle? Yeah. Take a photo? All right, buddy. You're in the sand over here. Hello. Oh, what are you, what are you looking? What's that? That's an excellent question. I've been asking myself that all my life. Where's the treasure? That question and where's the... Um, you think oh, it's you over think there? there? You think it's that way? Well, what are you doing here? Go. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Go. Wait. Mate, not all treasure is silver and gold. First, you need to get a portrait with me, right? Oh, yeah? Oh, that's a good treasure. Jackson. Yeah. As in the son of Jack? That's yes. true. <laughs> <laughs> he looks very surprised, bud. We've not met before, right? I, you don't remember? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, you're very handsome. <laughs> <laughs> Jackson, did you tell Captain Jack what you were dressed as yesterday? Oh, what were you yesterday? You were a pirate for one day. Just for one. Just one day? Yeah. Do you want to be a pirate for the rest of your life? You do! <laughs> Excellent. A pirate's life for you then, mate. Yay! You want to join my crew? All right, that was easy. Right? It doesn't pay well, mate. You need to negotiate some more, Jackson. <laughs> yeah. say, I like you. you definitive. Yes. Say you'll split the treasure 60 40. Absolute. Excellent. Well, here, stand here next to me, mate. We'll get a portrait, yeah, all right? Do you want to look right over here, mate? Here we go. Castaway Key. One day I'm going to go out there and do those bikes. It was like water bikes. They look like fun. There goes Goofy and Pluto. Did you see him? <laughs> yeah. Who else are we going to see here? Mickey is supposed to be starting. Hi, Mickey. Hi, Mickey. Go say hi to Mickey. Oh, you're going to give Mickey a hug? <laughs> That's Mickey. Jackson. Jackson. Yeah. Who's on, Who's your, on your shirt? It's Goofy. Goofy and the sun. That's Mickey's right, Goofy. And the sun. It's Right there. <laughs> so it's kind of interesting because we're like the first, we're at the first beach. Like this is the very first beach there is. And usually this is the most crowded beach. But like we were able to find two great chairs 
here in the shade we are right next to the bar which i mean there is like a high-pitched wail that happens every once in a while to keep the birds away oh. but not everybody can hear that that's fine i feel like it might be because everybody tells you if you if you watch any castaway key videos they say don't go to the first beach like that's one of their first top tips is like so i feel like everybody's listening to those tips and then now this beach is the good beach no if i look down there there's an entire row of chairs down there that's just empty oh really maybe yeah. everybody's on the ship still i don't think there's that many people on our sailing like i don't think we're a full ship at all all right i did it i put it on the chair it barely fits around these chairs but it does so now we know which chair is ours it's the one with the thing holding the towel on not a ton of people there are kind of like a lot of people over there there's what there's two chairs right there that are free oh yeah right in the front underneath an umbrella huh I can hold you in the water, buddy. Yeah, let's do it. Ooh, there's a little needlefish swimming around right here. Look at him. What you doing, bud? Hey, Yeah, you coming out here? Getting deeper. Getting deeper. Got me. Yeah, go back to shore now, bud. Oh yeah. Go back in. Come back, come back after you Kick your legs out behind you. Remember. Kick them, kick them, kick, kick, kick. When you first get in, it's a little chilly, but then once you're finally in, it feels, it feels great. great. Yeah. So the last time we were here wasn't that long ago, and it was way warmer. In the water. Yeah. The, it's the, still hot outside. Yeah, but the water is much colder this time. Right? Look at how cool he looks. Come and get me, buddy. With those sunglasses and that hat. You look like the coolest baby. Come, Come on out, buddy. Come and get me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're doing it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay, do this one. You ready? Yeah. Can you see? Yeah. Turn more. Do you? No, the other way. This way? Yeah, that's pretty good. Look at this kid. He's like a little fish. Oh, what's this one? Is this that rock that I just dropped? Let's see what Daddy found. You want to see what Daddy found? Yeah. What do you it's think the it same is? Rock. It was a rock. Oh, rock. Do 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 do. What if you were doing like? <laughs> do 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 do. Hey Jackson, what do you want to eat for lunch today? A hot dog. A hot dog. You just been what? He loves hot dogs. <laughs> Only when we're on a cruise, though. It is so like nice and calm. Yeah. Which is weird because like well, the first night, right? The first night we were definitely like floating through rough seas. Oh yeah, I thought you were talking about just like in general the, the feeling out here is calm. Yeah, it is. There's, I feel like there's not very many people out here. Yeah. But also like the oh. first night. I'm in the grass now. There were. Are you in the grass? <laughs> The first night we were rocking, like the ship was really, really. That's oh, yeah. the only time I've ever felt a little bit seasick. You okay, bud? So oh, we're God, on so the south got... side of the Bahamas now. Is that what it was? But when you're, as soon as you get on the north side of the island, then it starts to get rough again. So tonight, mm -hmm. on our way back to Port Canaveral, will be rough. Oh no, that was the the first night though. Is the only time I've ever felt a little bit seasick. Yeah, which is surprising because this is the smoothest ship. Yeah, it makes me wonder what a smaller ship would have felt like. Oh, it would have been wild. <laughs> What's your biggest tip for everybody out there? Oh, yeah. I think a good tip is if you're planning on doing the photo package, buy it before your cruise because you save about 50 bucks. Yeah, also, if you're looking for the photo package and it looks like it's sold out on the first day, look on the second day or the third day because they still sell them and it's for the entire cruise even if it's being sold on the second, third, or fourth day, if that makes sense. So for this cruise in particular, when I looked, it was sold out for the first day. So I bought it for the second day and that was available and I was able to get it for all of the pictures, not just from the second day on. I know that's confusing, but that's the, that's the case. So every other time that we've come to the island, I feel like we go to Cookies 2. And right now we're at Cookies Barbecue. I don't know if the food's different here. I'm sure it's not but we'll find out. So we've got some potato chips, fruit salad, some coleslaw, grilled sweet corn salad, some red skin potato salad, some macaroni pasta salad, corn on the cob, some honey and bourbon glazed seared salmon filet. It looks like they're almost out of those back there. Vegetarian bean chili, some sauerkraut in the very back, barbecue pork ribs, Cajun spice rotisserie chicken, Smoky barbecue beef brisket. Look at that. Hot dog. Plain grilled cheeseburger. Do I just want the cheeseburger and the brisket? I'm gonna get the cheeseburger. And then of course, can't go wrong with the chocolate brownies. Pineapple crumble bar cake. Chocolate chip cookies, that's what I want right there. And Texas cornbread. So I don't really understand why the 
the, like the cookies on the island are different than the cookies on the ship. Like even the ones that are at Marceline Market are different. These look better. This one's got a little piece of piece of paper in it. Here's what I got. I'm gonna make this into a Mickey. It's a mayonnaise and mustard Mickey. <laughs> uh, cookies, of course. Hamburger, cheeseburger, hot dog, potato salad, more potatoes. This, I think, this brisket is for Jen, right? I got it because I, I wasn't sure what it was. It's so brisket. I just, I just grabbed it. <laughs> and Jen got some rib, one singular rib, and then uh, lots of corn on this the plate. This is my there. side plate because Jackson didn't know what he wanted, so I figured we could share it. Okay. But here's a fun little tip for you is they'll give you a kid's tray. I didn't know that. This is the if first time they've ever offered me a kid's tray. Yeah, maybe just ask for it. I didn't know. And then we got some, Jackson loves watermelon. Oh, and some pasta salad. I don't think he's ever had pasta salad. He asked for it, so I was okay. like, we'll try it. We'll see. I, well, I'm not going to say it because I don't want him to hear it. There's mozzarella in it. Oh, we'll see. He's eating his hot dog. You want to try it? He's going for the, going for the, the Here's your the here's grape. super rubber. He's like, I just want a grape. Cut it, okay. All right, so Jackson and Jen are gonna go out into the splash pad. I'm gonna go snorkeling. One thing that's interesting to note is that if you are snorkeling, you have to wear one of these yellow vests or a life jacket. Just something so that the lifeguards can see you. Also, if you bring your own mask and fins, it's free. But I left my actual snorkel at home and they let me use one of theirs for free too. So that was nice, like a nice little thing that they did. So just, that's like a, I guess a good way to save money. I don't know, but we're going in now. I'm back in from snorkeling. I just saw Jen and Jackson. They were headed back to the ship for Jackson's nap time. But uh, the whole reason that I was showing those last few clips of snorkeling was I wanted you guys to see the difference between way out at the end of the snorkeling course versus up by shore as far as the visibility goes. Once you get up on shore, you can barely see anything. But out there, it's pretty good. Like you could see a lot of things, all the fish, all the different animals. There were a lot of jellyfish out there. Those are the Cassiopeia upside down jellyfish. They don't, they do sting. I shouldn't say they don't sting, but like it, it's like a mosquito bite is what you feel. So if you don't, they also, it's not like tentacles, it's stinging cells that they release. 
So if you're not like messing with them, you won't notice the sting. Like you won't feel it. Like I didn't didn't ever feel anything. If you're ever at shore somewhere and you feel like I don't know mosquito bites. A lot of people call them like sand fleas or like uh, ocean fleas or something like that. Uh, that's just like jellyfish tentacles or stinging cells from like these jellyfish out here that you're feeling make you feel itchy. Saw a flounder, saw a lot of like different fish, saw anemones. I haven't seen anemones in a long time. Saw a cute sea cucumber. I don't know what else, like there wasn't a lot going on. It was nice because it was low tide. So all of the stuff that was out there as far as like the, the objects like Mickey and Minnie and uh, Daisy and Prince Eric and Dumbo and stuff like that. Those were all close to the surface. So it was easier to see and get to as opposed to during high tide. And it was also easier to get out to them because the water wasn't as, as high up the beach. So you're swimming for less time at low tide. All right, so now I'm gonna head back to the ship and I'm gonna go down the Aqua Mouse because it sounds like a lot of fun, right? Let's go do it. As I'm leaving Castaway Key, an interesting view of the Wish here. It gives you a good look at the entire ship. I think it's great. This is a brand new ship and they're already repainting it. That's good. Got to keep it painted. It's the way that ships like this work because uh, seawater is so corrosive. It puts, gets set into the water and they start repainting it right away. And they just start in one spot and work their way around the entire ship. And by the time they've made it around back to where they started, they start over again. Look at this. Chip and Dale coming off the ship. How's it going? So in the app, they're doing what's called an appearing wave on the island pathway which I thought was just right here, but they're headed over to their little custom Disney Cruise Line golf carts. I like their little butt waggle as they walk. Hello. Oh yeah. All right, we're headed to the Aqua Mouse, a 20 minute wait. All right, it's been about 15 minutes. Still, I need to look up what these flags say right here. We're almost there, we're like, we're like four more boats ahead of me and right. then I'll be on it. So yeah, maybe like a 20 minute wait, exactly like it said. Exactly a 20 minute wait. feel cold. Oh, the Yeti. Yeti clobber all over me. Gross. Oh, we're inside of a cave. Oh, there's a little booty butt. Bus, they're here, we should let them out. As a treat for going down the Aqua Mouse, I decided to get some gelato. This is the Monster Mash flavor, which is here for the Halloween season. Then I got Reese's Pieces and some Halloween sprinkles on it to make it really festive. This is the officer of the watch speaking from the bridge. At the end of this announcement, we will be sounding our ship's whistle. We recommend to our guests on the open decks to cover your ears. I don't know why they call it a whistle and not a horn. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Castaway key. Until next time. So now everybody is back in the room and trying to go to sleep. I am headed down to the edge, which is a team club. So after Oceaneer Club, then Edge, then Vibe. So we're gonna go down and see what the edge is like. It's an open house right now. So I do recommend if you have a chance to just go and check out the spaces during open houses. It's neat to see like what they have in there. So deck five aft, these are the aft elevators. Mickey's mainsail is there. Arendelle is right there. And we're headed over here. And we're gonna go into edge. Have a look around. So the edge is a club for 11 to 14 year olds. Super fun stuff. Some giant connect four. Oh some blocks that you could build if you wanted to or just sit on them some ipads some views of some life of uh, life boats there's like a bar back here i bet you they would make smoothies and stuff a lot of video games back here more and more video games yeah basically that's all that i'm seeing in here is video games and then of course i'm sure that oh that's a cool little like coffee table made out of a skateboard uh, i got some chess over here bananagrams uh, these different games, cup stacking, some paper that they can draw on, Mario Kart, yeah, some switches, learn to draw, Gardens of the Galaxy, Star Wars stuff. So this is cool. I like this. It's a very hip looking space. A lot of like hangout places and a lot of space to do things. They also have fun lights up here so they can have like a fun party atmosphere as well. Tim Tracker? Oh, they have their own elevator too. That's kind of cool. Honestly, Edge was a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. Still really cool looking. Everybody's awake from their nap. It's time to go to dinner. Tonight we're eating at 1923 and I cannot wait to eat that steak again because last time it was very good. So we are in 1923. Look at how excited he got for those more crayons. Um, and we're on the Walt side. Mm -hmm. I didn't show us coming in, but actually this is kind of a, a nice table to be at. It's it's not though because we keep getting oh <laughs> yeah we're, we're right by the, the drink station but this is my favorite of all the restaurants yeah the food is so well, good well as far as food goes Ooh. what'd you make a square a square do you want some butter where is it this? where's my oh 1923 peppered filet mignon yes this? we're doing that it that is for the bread service it's a fig and olive bread with a honey butter dip but you can see it's just baked right into the bread so I can eat some yeah. You love butter, buddy. Yes. Here comes the hard part for me is what do I get for like my appetizers here? I might just get this uh, tricolor tortellini because it sounds pretty good. I think I got this. The soup was really good. Okay. I know you don't like love soup, but the guinea hen one was really good. Okay. I do like a nice baby romaine lettuce. <laughs> sounds pretty good. Um, Which one is that? The, the Caesar salad one? Yeah, oh, there's like a, a fennel, pear, and tatso, tats, tatso salad. Mm. I don't even know what that is with manchego cheese, walnuts, and sherry dressing. Sounds intense. Then we know what we're getting for dinner. We're getting the filet. Even though everything else looks good too. Hmm, this rack of lamb sounds delicious. <laughs> Buena Vista soft shell tacos. Los Feliz lobster salad. Hmm. Sounds like a, it's, it's like a really nice menu. Everything sounds delicious. I know that this is good and that's why I'm getting it. Yeah, is that, is that a candy straw? Give it to mommy, that's for mommy. You're not supposed to just eat mommy's okay. straw. You wanna try some of the drink? It's lemonade. Well, you got the ink and paint. It looks different than last time. So last time it was like, it was like double, double color, like dip. Okay. I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to word a it. A layered drink. It was a layered drink. It looked nicer last time. It tastes the same. You can't you gotta drink it. You can't just eat the straw. He's, he's gonna bite that straw in half? Just drink it. I would just Oh, okay. <laughs> I was just licking it, you know, as you do. So I got the Hyperion four cheese tricolor tortellini with Meyer lemon, artichoke, sun-dried tomatoes, and baby spinach. This is the pulled guinea hen corn chowder. 
uh, with Yukon gold potato cilantro and smoked bacon. Mmm, you want to try some? Yeah. Good, yeah. Are you singing happy birthday? Yeah. Happy oh, yeah. birthday. Yeah. Whose birthday is it? Every night, it's been like 87 people's birthdays, and so he's been really getting in his, his happy birthday singing. But I had this uh, soup last time, and I really liked it. So it's really just kind of like a potato soup with a little bit of other vegetables in it. Mm. I got the soup in this for us to share, but this is their, it's almost like a Caesar salad. It's like romaine with Caesar dressing, Parmesan, um, croutons, and tomatoes. Oh yeah, look at that filet right there. Are you saying happy birthday to the crayon? <laughs> you also got the filet. Your filet looks amazing. Yours looks really good. Mine looks uh, a little bit small. What? They're the same size. You want to trade me? Mm, no, I guess they're the same size. You can trade me. No. I'm going to keep mine. Okay. Because it's taller. <laughs> then we got some bacon wrap. Green beans, I think. You want green beans? Yeah. And then like a loaf of potato. Yeah. Okay, we both got medium. There's Jen's cut. It looks it's really good. good, yeah. And then there's mine. No, you can't have the candy straw, buddy. Looking real good. We just got our dessert menu. We got spicy churros, a flourless orange almond cake with guava gel. Sounds interesting. Atwater Fiji apple cheesecake, which also sounds interesting. They said that that is the, the, like, the thing that they're focusing on tonight, so I might actually try that. Although this Hollywood Hills hot chocolate fudge sundae sounds amazing. I'm gonna get that and then you can try some. Okay. I think I got it last time and it was good. I think Signature so. dessert is a Burbank blueberry lemon Bavarian cream. I had that last time and it was not good. Okay, I won't yeah. get that. <laughs> and then the no sugar added is a coconut tapioca pudding. So for Jackson, we, uh, we want him to sleep early tonight so we're giving him a low sugar sorbet. <laughs> and then for Jen, she got the sundae, which is vanilla, whipped cream, brownie bits, and then hot fudge. Yum. This is like sounds... their 1923 sundae, so it's like their signature sundae. Yeah. But then you got... I got the apple cheesecake. It sounds so interesting. Yeah. It's got rolled oats. You want to try some of mine? Yeah. I'll give you one little bite, yeah. So try to eat some of yours, please. After dinner, we needed to play one last game of shuffleboard. Oh. Pretty windy out here tonight. It's time. We gotta go back. Time. To we gotta go back to the room and pack, buddy. So we can leave tonight. So that's last night. Yeah. Where are you going, buddy? This one's ours. This is our room. Remember? I I I don't wanna go. I know. I don't wanna go either. He said, "Can I stay here forever?" I wish we could. We have to get a job. We gotta work on the Disney cruise. Let's see what our final towel animal is. What is this? Is that a Krabby Crab? Oh, I can't get those. Oh, just more candy. No more candy, <laughs> no more candy. Good morning. <laughs> it is um, like 6.45 in, in the morning. We had the early breakfast, so we have the early, no, we had the early dinner, so we have the early breakfast. So we are headed to breakfast right now so we can get off the ship. That is one thing I love having the early dinner because um, it's good for Jackson's like bedtime, but then having the early breakfast, not very fun, not very magical. What do you think, bud? Yes. Do you love? Did you love the cruise? I wanted to stay on the cruise. You want to stay on the cruise? Yes. Me too, babe. I know. Me too. You just. Get me to stay on the cruise. I can't get you to stay on the cruise. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, can we can go on another cruise one day, though. Well, um, like the same you like the same one? You like the Halloween cruise? Here is a look at the port as well. It's still nighttime. That's how early it is. The moon. The moon is still awake. That's how early it is, buddy. The sun didn't even wake up yet. All right, you ready? I'm ready. Okay, let's do it. Just checking everything one last time. The sun time. Even, didn't even wake up. <laughs> no, I know, we're up before the sun. I just want to go down and get some coffee. You ready, bud? Yes. Okay, let's go get our juice. My we'll be good to go. It's a quiet morning for sure. Aside from this, this hopping jazz. <laughs> this is the last that anyone will see the Halloween tree boo on the Disney Wish until next year. Wow, well, because this was the very last Halloween on the High Seas Cruise for the season. So this is me in the morning. 
Uh, we are, <laughs> breakfast on the last day is the same place that you ate dinner the night before. So we're in 1923 again. And this is the menu right here. And you can do the same thing. You can order as many things as you want to. Okay, come over here so we can get you in your future. Yeah, I just gotta set it down and then we can put you in it. All right, so we started out with some croissants. So you can order the the fresh from the bakery and they just bring a tray over and they're like, what do you want? And you can take as many things as you they want. They had like but pineapple and apple and, and chocolate cinnamon. chip. Yeah, but we just did croissants. Yeah. It is so early. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Not doing so good. <laughs> Look at this. He's very tired still. He said, I don't want to get out of the bed. It was so hard to wake him up. Oh. Oh. Which is silly because sometimes he comes into our bed in the middle of the night. What are you doing? <laughs> Not on the last night. <laughs> so I got the omelet. This is just a ham and cheese omelet. And then I got bacon and sausage with it. See, and then Jackson got it's called Goofy's Get Up and Go, which is eggs and sausage, some fruit, and they love their like grilled, grilled tomatoes. Tomato. Yeah. I asked, I forgot to ask, but I just got him a little hash brown, and then I got eggs and hash brown and, uh, and ham. Well, well done, ham. And then we got some toast. Jackson was really interested in this this crumb tool, <laughs> and so I was letting him do it. Oh, we found a squishy ball underneath the bed that wasn't ours. Um, Alright, now we are in the line. Ooh, look at Jen Sunburn. Alright, now we are in the line to get off the ship. Passing through the bayou and heading to the exit. It's like a party in here. Yeah, it is. We're officially off the ship. There it is. Now we're waiting to go. Oh, now we're waiting to go through customs. Oh, on the way out, there is a, uh, a Disney Plus ad for Christmas and for Halloween still. Oh, and Muppets Haunted Mansion. All right, we've made it through security, and now we are headed up the escalator back to the car. Bye, Wish, we'll see you soon. We're headed out of Port Canaveral. So on November 14th, they are lifting all COVID restrictions. So you don't have to be vaccinated, you don't have to show proof of vaccination. You don't have to get tested, nothing. Wow, well, all right, and we paid our parking. So we mentioned at the beginning of this video, parking was like $92 for yeah. the five days. This little finger on the right. And thus our Halloween on the high seas on the Disney Wish cruise has come to an end. It was a super fun cruise. We really enjoyed cruising on Halloween. Like that was super fun, like an exciting experience. It was very interesting too, seeing how they did the trick or treating or the treat to candy distribution. This was our last day. So we spent it on Castaway Key and it was such a fun time and the weather was wonderful. The water felt really good. Uh, we had a good time. I saw a lot of stuff when I was out there snorkeling, stuff that I hadn't seen before. And then we had dinner at 1923, which was superb. The best meal like included in the dining, dining rotation that we've ever had on a cruise was at 1923 with that filet. Very, very good. So if you have missed any part of this cruise series, we'll have a link to a playlist in the description down below so you guys can check it out. And we are also very excited to go on the next cruise. So stay tuned. Very exciting. And with that being said, we're off. We'll see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.